Hi everyone, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can make a block breaking animation. I've been getting some questions about it, so let's jump right in. I'm going to show you the easiest method without having to change the materials and all that stuff. So, first thing you need to do is go to the Boxscape Studios website and download their pack. They have the asset pack with all the Minecraft mobs, blocks and much more. So, go to the website, it's going to be linked in the description. Scroll down and then click on download. Be sure to organize it in a folder so you can easily access it after you work on other animations. So, in Blender, I'm going to go to File, Append, and I'm going to go to the Boxscape Studios Pack. After you download the Asset Pack, go to File, Append, and then go into the folder where you have the BSS Rig Pack saved. In my case, it's in the Minecraft Animations and Items and Blocks. Go to Cycles Minecraft Rig BSS Edit, and then once you go inside here, you're going to have multiple Blender files. We're going to choose the Minecraft Blocks Rig, so double click on this. And then we're going to have these different folders. We're going to go to the object. And then we can search for break or breaking. I'm going to type break. And then we're going to have the block breaking and block breaking controls. We're going to drag our mouse over it, left click and drag. And then we're going to import both of it. So I'm going to append it. And it's going to be right over here. Now let's first, I'm going to Alt A. I'm going to click on Alt A to deselect this. I'm going to quickly enable the screencast keys as well, just in case. And now I'm going to go to the MC prep add-on and then I'm quickly going to import a block. So let's import a cobblestone, for example, and let's make a cobblestone breaking animation. So I'm going to go to the spawner, go to the block spawner, reload assets. And then I'm going to click on the cobblestone and let's import the cobblestone. First thing I need to do is zoom in. So I either need to press notepad period or I have it set it to F as well. Then I'm going to click on Alt G. To move it in a starting place and also one thing you notice is the origin point of the cobblestone after i spawned it from ac prep is down below so this orange thing if you can see under the cursor is below and we need it to be in the center for this method so i'm gonna click on right click set origin and then click on origin to geometry and this will align the origin aka this orange dot in the center of this cobblestone and now i can rotate it from the center now, another thing I can do is uh, we're not going to need this. So I can either select these, B, box select them, drag them down, or I can hide them from here because we're not going to be needing them in the animation. So let's click on this and then zoom in. I am zooming in with F or again, you can use the numpad period. Now, if I move this, this control will follow. And this basically controls in the pose mode. It controls how many cracks we want to add. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click on Alt G to move it in front of the block and if I zoom in as you can see it's going to be wrapped around the block almost so another thing I can do to set this up exactly on the cobblestone is I can first select the cobblestone I can click on shift s and then I can click on cursor to select it and then cursor to select it means that the cursor will be selected on top of the origin of the object and since our origin point is in the center of the cobblestone then our cursor went up here so again, I can select this block breaking animation or black bro block breaking or I can select this block breaking mesh and then I can click on shift S and then selection to cursor. And now it will be selected to cursor and it will be wrapped around the cobblestone. Now it won't be wrapped around exactly. So you can maybe select it, turn off the overlays and slightly scale it or slightly move it. I'm going to click on S and then slightly scale it up. Be sure not to overdo it. And now it's going to be wrapped around the cobblestone entirely. And now once it's wrapped around the cobblestone entirely, I can select this controller and then I can go to pose mode, either from here, object mode changes to pose mode, or I can click on control tab. Now, if I move this, move this square up and down, you can see that I'm controlling the cracks and I can either make it disappear or appear entirely. So we can animate this and then make an illusion as if the block is breaking. So let's do that. So first go to King and turn on location and rotation. I already have it on. And then let's turn auto keyframing to save some time as well. Now, once I'm inside the pose mode, I'm going to move this all the way up. And then if I move this all the way up, it's going to set a keyframe. If it doesn't set a keyframe, press on I and we're going to have a keyframe set on frame zero. I have my starting frame set on zero. I'm going to click on N to make this disappear. And then let's move to frame five, for example, and then move this down slightly. So G and we'll move it down until we have a few cracks. Then go to frame 10 and then move it down again and then go to frame 15 and then move it down entirely. If we play back, we have this animation, 
But as you know, in Minecraft, when you're breaking blocks, it's not gradual, it's basically constant. So you jump between pauses, like this. So in order to do that, I can easily hover over my timeline, press on A, and make sure I have all my keyframes selected. So press on A to select all the keyframes, and then press on T, and then changes to constant. By default, it should be Bezier, the interpolation, but we need to change it to constant. And now constant is basically going to do this. One, two, three. As you can see, it's not gradual. It jumps, jumps, and then jumps again. So we can leave this as gradual. We can add more cracks. We can add like four, five steps. But I find three to be enough inside animations, so it's not going to drag on too long. So once you have this set, you can basically scale this down. Go out of the pose mode, scale the sound, scale this cobblestone down as well, and basically do whatever you want. You can scale them down, rotate them, make it look like the game, and just you can do whatever you want after this. So I decided to make this quick video because I've been getting some questions about how you can make a block breaking animation. Now, I'm sure you can do this inside the shader editor as well, but this is super easy since Boxscape Studios already provided this mesh, which you can easily control and animate. And you can see it's pretty easy to create this animation, and basically you can break blocks. And I can set my end frame to 50 so we can loop around and you can watch the animation if you want while I talk. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Smashing the like button always will be appreciated. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more weekly Minecraft animation tutorials like these. I upload Minecraft animation tutorials using Blender 4.0, but these tutorials will be applied to older versions of Blender. I upload once or twice per week. And also if you want to learn how you can animate faster and speed up your workflow while working on the animations, then be sure to check out this video and I will see you there. As always, thank you for watching.